So, Girls on Panzer, episode 11, finally coming to the end. Um, so, pretty much picking up where the last left off, um, the Ori girls are facing Team Germany, and pretty much already to a bad start because the like internet team already got fucked. So, yeah, so pretty much everyone's watching them now. Like, Team Russia's checking them out, um, British team sipping on tea, the parents are people like best girl's grandma judging them and shit and of course the americans are just sipping on jack and coke or whatever um anyway so they continue on they start retreating and they get a message from like the internet team they're like oh hey are you all right and they're like yeah we're good we're good gg um and we find out i guess glasses girl look normal but whatever so they continue on and i guess they had they all do like a little roll call or some shit because they all do this smoke screen which i didn't know was a feature of the tanks i guess or some shit but whatever so they make the smoke screen to pretty much cause cover for them and go away and of course german girl or angry german girl doesn't want to have any of that she's like fuck it let's shoot him and shit but miho's evil sister is like no no that's what miho would want us to do no no and so they don't and she's like you know what they have a porsche tiger that thing's big that thing's heavy and they're going up a hill so it's going to take them a while to get up there but then i guess the like smoke screen fades away or whatever and they realize that all the tanks are dragging up the Porsche or something that they all attach like wires to it. And I didn't know you could do that. And my second question is, did they literally just stop during the smoke and attach wires to it? Like what the fuck? But whatever, still it's pretty beast, I guess, whatever. So, um, they continue on, they make another smoke screen again, just to like make it even smokier or whatever. And this time they only use two of the tanks. And then I realized, cause they show the student council team and they're hiding in the bushes or in the trees being ninjas and ready to fucking pounce. And I'm like, oh yeah, when they were pulling up the tank, they only showed six of them. They didn't show the other one. So student council's fucking on it already. So they're ready to handle this shit. They, the president of it is like, oh yeah, she's all hyped. Shoots one, takes them out, load another, shoot the other, and that's it. And she's like, fuck it, two's good enough, and bails. And of course, angry German girl wants to go after her, but Miho's sister's like, holla no we're going after the flagship so they continue on up the hill and it eventually becomes this like i guess stare down for a second and it's all like oh who's gonna go first or whatever and miho's older sister's like fuck it surround them so all the tanks start going around start shooting crap and honestly this scene i guess was kind of dull to me because it was literally a lot of shooting and no one hitting like, I think, I know at one point, Miho's, like, main tank or something shot another tank, like, square in the face or whatever, but that's about it. Then, like, Miho's older sister is like, you know what, bring out the big gun, and they bring out this other tank, and I guess, it, I thought it was going to be more badass or something, but it just walked up, like, it rolled up in front of him, and it was, like, moving forward, and it took two shells and just, like, rubbed them off, and that was really it. And I was like, okay, that was pretty mellow. I thought it was going to shoot the shit out of somewhere, like fuck someone's day up, but whatever. So eventually Miho's like, we're going to have to bail. This isn't really working out how I planned. And student council's checking them out like, right, right, all right. um, You want us to help out? And they're like, yeah, do whatever you can, man. So what what do they do? Student council decides, you know what? Fucking troll them. It worked with the Russians. Why the hell not today? So they roll up. They shoot some chick's tread while they're going on the way just to fuck her day up. And they continue up, they literally just start parking next to the enemy and driving around them in circles and, like, distracting them and just fucking messing with them and shit. So that makes them all erratic and crap, and then the main team decides to finally start shooting back. And even though the enemy team was all, like, spazzing, they only hit one person. Like, literally the closest person. They didn't hit any of the other people who were, like, freaking out. Like, they even shot all together in unison or whatever, and all shots missed, so... I don't know, whatever. Eventually, they're just like, you know what? Fuck it. We got to bail. So they all bail. And this is when automotive team starts shining for me. Like, I haven't seen much from them. So now they stepped up. They go in the front and they take two shells. And I'm like, damn, that's pretty. They just rub that shit off, whatever. And they keep going. And eventually, because I guess they like, they're, I knew the tank is supposed to be like messy or whatever. Like it breaks down or some shit. And it started doing that, so I'm like, ah, oh, shit, now it's going to be fucked, and they're going to be out of the game or whatever. But no, fucking the mechanic girl's like, ah, oh, do you have a little tummy ache tank? Let me get up there, and gets out and checks out the parts or starts working on it. And even Miho's like, the fuck? Like, what the hell? 
and I know I get mad that they get outside of the tank or whatever, like, still, that bugged me, but it's, like, I don't know, that was pretty cool, like, that was actually more useful to me or some shit, so I'll let them slide, they don't know my rule yet, um, anyway, they continue on, eventually, German people try to chase them down, but angry German girls tank, tread breaks, and then we get a little lecture of, like, oh, I guess the tanks are heavier, they mess up, or they might run out of fuel or some shit, I don't know, whatever, anyway, they go to the, this river, they're like, all right, let's cross the river. And I'm like, oh, that seems a little sketchy, but whatever, fuck it. It's anime. They could do whatever the fuck they want. So they're crossing the river, and then Lolly Team's engine, I guess, stalls. And that's what I thought was going to happen in the water, but anyway, now it's like, oh, great. They're going to do a flashback because Miho has issues with her friends entering water inside tanks. Who would have guessed? So it becomes this whole, like, oh, what's Miho going to do? What's Miho going to do? And she's like fuck it, I'm gonna save him, so she goes out, she, like, ties a rope to her, and then it becomes this thing of everyone and all the viewers are like, oh, man, how amazing, oh, what, what camaraderie or whatever, and, like, oh, Miho wants to win because she wants to win through her team strength, not, not through individual power or whatever, so, whatever, that shit happens, she decides to, like, I guess gravity is touched by this emotional moment and allows her to leap from tank to tank or whatever easily, and, yeah, so she rescues the lolly team there all the tanks are like turning around because i guess student council team tries to troll again but older miho is onto her shit so she's like ah, <laughs> well fuck that and they retreat and bail um they turn all the other tanks turn their turrets and they're firing back at the enemy team because i guess crazy tank girl is looking through some weird ass telescope which i thought looked like a little missile pod thing from like call of duty or some shit but I don't know, I guess I guess you look through it sideways or some shit. I don't know, I'm not a pro at that crap. And all the tanks start shooting back at the enemy tanks, except best team, because they got too much swag, and they're sad that their turret doesn't pivot or turn or some shit like that. And they're pulling the rope on lolly team, and then I come to the question, whose fucking tank are they standing on? Or where did this mystery tank come from? Because, it, like, it can't be the volleyball team, because the volleyball team is literally next to their tank. Or the tank that they're standing on. And I don't think it's their tank because their tank is fucking huge, but whatever. Um, anyway, they eventually pull them out with the wonders of rope and dragging. And their engine fixes and they go off their merry way. And eventually the rope unties as well. So I don't know. These ropes are just appearing and disappearing for me. Anyway, they continue on. They find a bridge. They decide to cross it. And again, automotive team stepping it up because they're like, you know what? I got to show them what's what. And... She speeds up or some shit, and I guess maybe the tank lifted for a bit and hit the ground pretty hard, and the bridge collapses, and then she drives away not giving a fuck. Even Miho's like, damn, why the fuck didn't I step up like that? But whatever. So German team's angry. They're like, we're going to have to go another way. So main team and them, they all just go on their merry way through some streets. Eventually, they find this city, and they see this little tank, and they're like, aww. Let's kill it. And then they just fucking go and fucking handle it. So they chase it through. And it's like, come on. This is an obvious bait. Like, why would this little tank be out in the middle of the city away from the Germans? Like, their whole team. Like, how would... <sighs> but anyway, so... I'm like, they're going to get caught. They go to, like, a shady street corner. I'm like, great. They're going to probably be surrounded by the intersections or boxed in. And they're going to be fucked. And I expected it, but... I didn't expect what happened, because then the massive behemoth of a fucking tank just rolls back, and they're even like, the fuck? Is, is that a wall? Is that even legal? And this shit is huge. Even, like, Tank Girl is like, oh, loud, and everyone's just, I don't know, it's weird. And they're like, oh, I guess it's called the mouse, or mouse, or some shit, and it was so big, its turret couldn't fucking turn, so they had to reverse some more to turn it still. And it's like, well, what's it going to do? And it's like, hey, buddies. And then it shoots. And it doesn't even hit the student council team and still flings their tank a bit. So they're like, holy shit. And I guess disciplinary committee was like pissed off. And they're like, oh, don't be cocky because you're all fucking big and shit. But discipline, disciplinary committee fucked with the wrong tank because then they, they try to fire back, but they got their shit pushed in. And everyone's retreating. And I'm like, holy shit, just run, people. And best team is like, you know what, we're going to avenge them. And I'm like, oh, they're going to do it. And they shoot back. And then they get blown the fuck up and their tread's gone. And I'm like, no, best team, why? Like, at that moment, I started questioning, is this anime going to end happily? 
Because, one, that's fucking... In- that thing is just killing people. If it killed Best Tam, there's no hope. There's just no hope. And then it just ends with the German girls, like, a- a- angry Miho or evil Miho just driving off with her German team, preparing to get victory. So, yeah. So now I'm just waiting for the next episode because, like, without Best Team, how they're... It's just done. This truly is the end of Girls and Panzer. So, yeah. So, if you like the video, like it. If you want more, subscribe. And, yeah. um, I'll see you in the last episode. Later.